some people in the audience. First off, we have Janet Emerson, who's my colleague of Ward 3 at Raytown. Pat Ertz, who is in Ward 4. Jim Asia, who is in Ward 2. We also have um, Vicki Turnbow, who is the president of the Raytown Chamber of Commerce, along with city staff, John Benson, Brenda Gufferson, Mark Lowry, Teresa Henry, and Tom Cole. Also, Mahesh Sharma, who will be speaking later. So I want to thank each one of you for coming and supporting this very special project and this day. Today, we are also blessed to have Emmanuel Cleaver to help us celebrate the opening of two more neighborhood stabilization project homes. Congressman Cleaver is serving his sixth term representing our district. He is a member of the exclusive House Financial Service Services Committee, the ranking member of the Subcommittee on Housing and Insurance, and also the senior whip of the Democratic Caucus. He has a stellar history of encouraging economic development and was instrumental in getting this program off the ground. His tenacious efforts are unmatched, and when it comes to helping fighting crime, rebuilding areas that have gone no unnoticed for a very long time. Please help me welcome Congressman Emanuel Cleaver. Uh, it's an opportunity uh, that I cherish to, to be here at these events. Uh, anyone who uh, understands the, the value of a home uh, will also understand uh, how fabulous this is. Uh, and the home builders, uh, uh, Michael Snodgrass, uh, uh, has, has been involved in, in many of these projects all over the, the uh, community. I think I missed one here in Raytown uh, on Sterling. But uh, I think uh, I've been able to be uh, at, at all the others. Uh, this is absolutely great. And I hope everybody understands uh, that when, when things work well, uh, everybody wins. Uh, if you say to me that Congress is dysfunctional, uh, I, in my tradition, I would just say amen. Uh, uh, however, uh, I, I think that uh, the neighbor's Neighborhood Stabilization Program was a good move on the part of Congress. Neighborhood, uh, neighborhood Stabilization 3 uh, is, is what was used to, to help uh, get these projects going. Uh, but then when you have local partners uh, and the, a municipal government uh, that wants to uh, constantly improve the, the neighborhood quality of their city, these are the things that happen. This is what transpires when people work together. Uh, housing uh, is, is one of the most critical things in the development of a family somebodyness. Uh, I've said before, uh, until you've probably heard me say it, uh, if, you, if you go to the prisons, uh, and I've had the pleasure, uh, displeasure, however you want to say it, of visiting prisons, uh, including Leavenworth, and you go into these prisons, you do, you do uh, research that, all, that has, frankly, already been done. Find out how many people in prison own their own homes. You go into prison, you don't have homeowners. What you have are people who are renting and living here and there. And when you own your own home, you become a part of a neighborhood. You become a part of a city. Uh, you become a taxpayer. You own something. It is the American dream. It connects you to everybody else uh, who, who's trying to move up. And so if we understand the value of, of a home, I think we began to solve many of the problems. Uh, now, there are a lot of people in Washington who say, we shouldn't say that there is a, we have, we have a home uh, ownership society uh, because everybody shouldn't own a home. And to be sure, I agree, everybody can own, a home, own their own home. But uh, there are many, many people uh, who can own their own home and should own their own home, and all they need is just a little help. Uh, and uh, the people who will, who will move into this house, just look what they're moving into, all the way down to a manicured lawn. Uh, and that, that makes you feel good on the inside. I know, I came out of public housing, where uh, I, I, I started my football career playing on sidewalks. And when we moved out of public housing, and, and, and my dad was able to, to save money, it took him about seven years to save enough money to buy a lot, to buy a house in, a, in an all-white neighborhood where we couldn't live, and then he had it moved over to where it is today, and he lives in it at this very moment. But, but all of a sudden, 
when we moved into that house and we had grass, I mean, I, I, I wanted to get tackled, uh, you know, because <laughs> it was the first time I could get hit uh, and it didn't scratch me up, I didn't bleed. And, and I thought, man, if I had started this out, I, I would have a pro uh, career ahead of me. There's no question about it. And, and so the, the, the whole dynamics of a family begins to change when you have a home. And, and I, I can speak experientially as well as anybody in this country because I've seen it in my own family. I can tell you what changes uh, in, in people's attitudes. I can tell you people become so meticulous like my father uh, that uh, the neighbors all know that he uh, even he's retired and he looks out to see if anybody's dropping paper or cigarette butt anywhere up and down the street. Everybody knows, well, well you know, Mr. Cleaver saw you drop that because uh, my father will come out, uh, which, which is not always what we want him to do. But, uh, but, but my father, I mean, he, he takes so much pride. Uh, and, and in Texas, where I grew up, you know, temperatures in the, in the summer will hit 110. Uh, I remember 112, the highest I, I've ever remembered in my hometown. But for my father, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't get too hot for him to go out. Uh, he violates the law. Uh, and, you know, uh, you're not supposed to burn your grass. Some of you will remember people used to burn their grass uh, and, and after it dies, so it come back green. Well, my father uh, burns the grass, uh, and, the, you know, people call the fire department, the police, the uh, Lone Ranger. I mean, everybody's coming out, and, uh, and, and uh, thank God, you know, that's so Mr. Cleaver again, and just let him, let him go, just make him put it out. Uh, but but he wants to have the greenest lawn in Wichita Falls, Texas, and he wants to be among the top ten yards in, in the summer. All of that from home ownership. So this is a great day. We got a great opportunity to, to see a family moving in here, and all of us ought to be good. This is one of the things uh, that the federal government participated in that I think all of us can be proud of. Thank you very much. I do also uh, want to introduce Jim Vaughn, who is Director of Special Projects, who is with Emanuel Cleaver here today. And I want to thank you very much for your comments because it is very important for home ownership. One of the things that we've seen, and I encourage you to come and look at these pictures of the property before, because we have had numerous issues over the years with this property. As Alderman for the Ward 3, for the past 16 years, I would like to thank each one of you for your attendance here today. And to all who have worked so hard on getting this program for Ward 3. In Ward 3, we're proud to have five new homes with the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, which is assisting in eliminating blight for our neighborhoods. This property, as I've said, has seen a lot of issues over the years, including teenagers trying to live in the shed, as well as uh, some vagrants trying to live in the shed. And the neighbors call and complain, and we're so glad today that several of them are here today to be able to see these brand, brand new two homes. And we will see brand new two families coming to this community and being able to be in this uh, area and be welcomed by the neighbors. So the NSP program does work for the community. And it's not over because we still need a lot more attention in Ward 3. So I look forward to more homes perhaps being built in the future. At this time, I would like to introduce Mahesh Sharma, who is the City Administrator for the City of Raytown. Thank you uh, for coming here today. Last time I saw Congressman was in Washington last year in March, and I'm glad to see you here again uh, in Raytown. I echo others who have thanked you for coming here today, Congressman, to celebrate this neighborhood facelift. It is amazing that we went from uh, some rundown building to these beautiful, energy-efficient houses. Houses that will soon become home for somebody. Now there is a difference between houses and homes. Houses are structured. Homes is about family. And as I think about family, Congressman Cleaver was right. I don't think anybody here who has not gone through the process of owning home 
lived somewhere in rental or partnering with somebody and is having a, your own home is an American dream. You know, it reminds me the uh, a quote from uh, Maya Angelou who said, the ache for home lives in all of us. The safe place where we can go as we are and not to be questioned. God bless her soul. She passed away last year. But today what we are doing is building and creating those safe homes. Neighborhoods are continually evolving. Some fall behind as they age and this can lead to decline in our neighborhood. This is why City of Raytown has been investing heavily in neighborhood revitalization program. I can give you a number of programs that we have started in the last uh, uh, eight years or so. Demolition of dangerous buildings, registration of vacant and abandoned houses. For business, we have 353 tax abatement program, neighborhood service program, neighborhood revitalization program. And all it happens through partnership and relationship. As a city administrator, I can tell you we have accomplished a lot, but it could not have been without the support of the staff, without the support of governing body, without the support of other organizations within our community, without support of regional organizations such as Mid-America Regional Council, without support of our county, state, and federal government. We are excited about our partnership with Builders Development Corporation. And it has been pleasure working with them. We are excited that uh, we are partnering with them uh, to do a number of programs for rehabilitation and removal of deteriorated homes through our, uh, within our cities. We are continuing to work with community for all ages with the first up suburb coalition as a means to continue to understand demographic changes and these changes which affect Raytown. Neighborhood revitalization program requires us to develop more partnership in the future to meet the need for our residents. One of those future program is a small home repair program that will use volunteer to help those who are not physically or financially able to upkeep. We know enforcing code in a city is important, but we also know that we need to bring solutions to the table, and especially those who are struggling. This progress will require many hands and citizen involvement, and I challenge each and every one of you to help us to move to bring a greater impact in improving Raytown community. And again, I say when I talk about community, every time, time Congressman, when you touch down to Kansas City or I touch down, or our mayor who travels, and it's a feeling as soon as the aeroplane touch and you touch the soil of Kansas City that we are at home because this is our community. Let's get together, bring the brighter future of our community, and let's move forward. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. And at this time, I would like to introduce Robert Frost, who is the board vice chair of the Builders Development Corporation. Sir? Thank you very much. I'd just like to take a moment to uh, give you a little bit of information about the house. I'd like to introduce our contractor, uh, Marker Construction, Kirk Jones and his wife, Marilyn. Uh, second generation builders, uh, they've been in the business many, many years and they have taken the projects here in Raytown. They've built uh, four or five houses, four, five, all five of the houses here. Uh, they're one of the premier contractors in the business. And what they have done, is these houses are all Energy Star houses, which means they have to be, meet certain standards, uh, lower door tests and all that stuff right on through. So this, this house and the one next door are probably the most efficient homes in Raytown right now, because they are brand new, they meet all the standards. 
So whoever moves into this house is going to have a premier home as far as energy cost is going to be as low as you can possibly get. And through the construction throughout, we and the Builder Development Corporation have to be very careful with our money. So we work with our contractors as best we can to get the best product we can get for the least amount of money so we can pass it on to the customers. And I think uh, Greytown has been absolutely fabulous to work with. We build the five houses that we have done. We've also done some rehab houses. Lennox Construction, uh, Len AJ, you out there? He's our contractor, does a lot of our rehab work on the houses that we've taken back and brought back up to the standards just for, you know, for resale houses. And anyway, we have a good program. Uh, we've done uh, about 100 homes in the Kansas City area in the last few years. Uh, Congressman Cleaver knows where we've been and what we've done because he's been a great supporter of ours all the way through. Uh, Congressman Cleaver definitely believes in home ownership, and that's, that's the path to success is home ownership. And I'd like to also thank our board director, Michael Snodgrass. He takes and puts all the paper, the nuts and bolts, and the stacks and reams of paper to make this house happen. So thank you, Michael, for putting it all together for us. I'd like to also thank the rest of the board, Alderman from uh, Raytown, the mayor, city staff, for being uh, easy to work with and helping us out to make this happen. Because anytime you go into a neighborhood that's well established and tear up the street, turn dirt over and do all this is a little bit of uneasiness. But Kurt had the good sense to wash the streets for us this morning, spritz up the lawn, sprinkle all the neighborhoods. So it just looks beautiful. The flowers are blooming. So I don't know how you do it, Kurt. You're doing a wonderful job for us. Thank you much. Got the sun sign. We need more sunshine so we can mow the grass now. Anyway, uh, I won't hold you any longer on this, but I'd just like to thank everyone for what they've done to make this happen. There's going to be two lucky families coming along. And we hope to do many more homes in Raytown, and uh, if you'll let us come back. Thank you all. Thank you so much for your comments, and again, I want to thank each one of you for your attendance here today, as it's a very positive thing for Ward, not only Ward 3, but the city of Raytown. Also, there is an additional open house on Saturday, uh, April 4th, from... 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for both of these houses, so encourage none of your neighbors to come by and to check out the homes and maybe have somebody who's interested. So with that, we're going to do our ribbon cutting ceremony. And again, I want to thank you all so much, and I believe the home is open so we can go do tours and make sure you see the before and after pictures. So thank you all very much. For being here. This is Raytown Online. Oh, yes. Raytown's premier website news.